Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, I was wondering where these were. You didn't have to bring them by, though. I could have. I was on my way home. Well, I am um, sorry that I ran out on you. No. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I should go. Yeah, it's late. It was you in the hospital. Listen, the other night... ...was a huge mistake. Yeah, agreed. But I think it's a symptom of a much bigger problem that we're both experiencing. Okay. Look, I don't know how it is for you, but for me, this is getting a lot worse. So I've been thinking about some possible solutions. No, the solution is simple. We never see each other ever again. Yeah, I'm not so sure that's going to work. Yeah, me neither. There's someone who I think might be able to help us get through this. How? I'm not sure yet, but would you be open to trying? OK. You said you could help me? True. Uh, but as I told you before, I need to see both of you. I'm bringing her in tomorrow. Now, I need to make sure we have complete privacy. What, you want me to close the shop? I'll pay whatever it costs. Now, how long is this going to take? Uh, well, um, I have to assess the situation, and I'm guessing maybe half an hour for that, and then based on what I find out, and also based on my consultations with my, you know, professional colleagues, I can hopefully formulate some kind of a treatment. How long is that going to take? I won't know until I talk to the two of you. Sorry, I can't be more specific than that. This is a very complicated issue. These compulsive romantic entanglements can be highly combustible, bordering on the, like, nuclear. Yeah. Which is why I'm sure you'll be here tomorrow. Uh, about what time would you like to do this? Uh, I'll call you when I know the exact time. I'll do my very best to get you de-obsessified. Be right with you. I don't know about this. Juliet, please. We have to try. Oh! Sorry. Yeah. 
Juliet. Hey, Juliet, wait. What's the matter? Hey, come. 